Hello everybody, my name is Peter Koutny and let's speak today about another famous and great Bobby Fischer's game and today I will speak about game Bobby Fischer Paul Benko 1963 and in uh, this really sharp opening variation where widest advantage in center is the main plan to play f5 one day or e5 one day uh, after short castle, I like to play move e5 immediately and this uh, variation is really interesting if black is playing in knight to d7 because white's plan is to play h4, now h5 and don't be surprised if in theory book is the right move to take on g6 and to take on f7 and somewhere here um, widest attack. It's really important for black to know this story and if black doesn't know this story it's lost really soon. But we are not speaking um, in this video about this storyline. We are speaking about a really amazing Bobby Fischer's game and he played bishop to d3. So white looks okay because has a strong pawn sensor and three his minor pieces are standing in the right squares. Now I don't believe that black is playing the right move. Bishop to g4 should be a small mistake because after h3 it's making sense that black will take knight on f3 but black will take and white has two bishops advantage and if nothing white will get from opening at least he has two bishops so at least white will have small advantage from opening that's interesting and I don't know why black was going to g4 and without big reasons he took on f3 okay knight to c6 and now e5 as I told you main plan in uh, this uh, variation is to play e5 or f5 so if black played e5 it makes sense to play f5 and that's happened in this game and you can see that Bobby Fischer is playing a really simple chess he's playing f4 f5 and now it's really important to believe that black weaknesses are on the right side of the chessboard so it's really important to have open file there and for this reason white is going to take with his queen and you can see that this open file is important for this variation and for this game so now black should be under attack and main um, plan for black is to play one day f5 but now um, f5 uh, Queen is under attack. Believe me that square f5 is a black's weakness and uh, really lots of white's idea will go around this weakness. So now it's interesting move uh, if white should take on e5. I don't believe that white will have advantage but at least um, this position is really messy position and it's very difficult position for everybody but um, why to play this uh, this uh, position if white should go to f2 and as i told you the main plan for black is to play f5 for this for this reason is going to e8 okay short castle and now it's important for white to stop black playing f5 if white will stop uh, black's counterplay white will have advantage because black will not be active and black will not have active position so knight to d6 and now it's really interesting how bobby fischer is going to stop move f5 and the farce is going to g3 and you can see that it's really dangerous for black to stay in the same file or line where is white's Queen. So it makes sense to go to h8, but it's important to stop move f5. And Bobby Fischer is going to g4, and now he's going to h5. You can see that from now, bigger black weakness is on h7. And if white doesn't have this e4 pawn, is checkmate on h7. 
and somewhere here why believe that he will be winning with attack on h7 and it's really interesting to see how okay black is making mistake and is going to e8 maybe the right move is to play something like this but as i told you i believe that why there's advantage here because it's very difficult to find some active moves for black and white's plan is not difficult white has a uh, plan to attack um, on h7 f5 f6 and of course white has advantage here but black made a mistake and he went to e8 he believed that will play move f5 f5 is the main idea and main plan for black and with move f5 everything should be okay so now is up to white how he will stop move f5 and for next two moves this game is famous and is beautiful so first why not take on d4 and now is playing rook to f6 and after this move black is lost and at the first black doesn't have a chance to play f5 at the second um, black is lost so uh, what everything black should play looks like if black will take on f6 White is playing e5 and it's nearly no way how black will stop to, to be checkmated on h7. Okay, so another option is to take on c3, but after move e5, you can see that it's a threat to be checkmated on h7. So for this reason, black is playing h6 but after white's move and rook to h8 of course is another nice checkmate on h7 as i told you main plan was to attack black on h7 and we saw two nice checkmates over there so what black should play he went to g8 but it's losing after move e5 uh, black doesn't have time to to go somewhere with this knight uh, because white will go to f5 and win over h7 one more time okay maybe now is good to move to play h6 uh, white is winning because you know that uh, black's knight on d6 is lost uh, black doesn't have time to to play with this knight and this knight has to stay there because uh, now it's really important uh, line or this light squares so if uh, knight is going somewhere of course uh, is black is losing because it's another checkmate on h7 so in this position black is losing peace and black is losing game so that was not long but interesting chess game from Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer played a really simple chess. He opened f file, he stopped Black's pl main plan to play f5, and then he wished to attack um, Black on h7, and this plan was working. So maybe we have another idea how to play our chess. If not, maybe we saw interesting and famous game Bobby Fischer Paul Benko and I believe that you enjoyed this game and you enjoyed this video so thank you very much for every like new follow and I hope I will see you next time in our another YouTube chess video that's everything for now I wish you a good day and I will see you soon